What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be detailing uh, one of our bikes here, 2007 Harley Night Train. It's got the 96 fuel injection, 200 series rear back tire, bunch of upgrades. My wife decided to ride it in the rain. It's absolutely filthy. They see me rolling, dead hazing, patrolling to try to catch me by the jetty. Washing bikes isn't something I normally do all the time. It's just not necessary. You can uh, get away with just keeping them clean, storing them with a cover, and avoid riding in the rain. Thank you, Tanya. So today we're going to do a quick, uh, quick wash detail. Get it ready for a cruise. Where dirt and grime's gonna be. I could light a match in a heartbeat, don't try to stop me. Listen to the drum, yeah, it's marching, sounds like an army.
them all done, I like to go through and uh, just dry it off with a, with just a towel, just all the other little spots before I start doing any type of spray waxing or anything like that. Keep one towel for down below. You don't want to scratch nice black paint here. I like to leave uh, the spray wax in for last. That way, if you get any of the other cleaning products on the, on the paint, taking them off, you're not redoing the same thing over and over again. So for these Harleys with the the wrinkle black motor, I actually came up with a found a nice little trick. Helps keep them looking awesome. It's actually for uh, plastics, motorcycles, like a high gloss clothing. Helps prevent dust. It leaves an awesome shiny. I haven't really found with any other products on them. You can get it on anything. It doesn't matter. Sleeps off. Brake calipers. Look at the difference there. And the longer you let it sit there, it kind of settles into the whatever it's on. You can wipe off any of the excess. Say like this. Makes it look brand new. For something like that on the paint, I'll just spray it on a rag and then uh, wipe it on. But even like like these wires here. Doesn't have to be complicated to do to make things look clean, stay clean. Everybody's so intimidated to uh, to really get in there. Try to avoid like the seat if you can. It's kind of slippery. To the front bed caliper. If you do get air on the actual rotor, just wipe it off. It's not a big deal. Bike's not perfect, it's got a couple of little spots on it, but it is a 2007. All right, so after that, go for a nice uh, speed wax. This bike's already been polished a bunch of times, clay barred. That's why the shine came right back just after a quick wash. This is before any product going on it, and the chrome looks good. This is a 21 by three and a half inch Ultima Vortex front wheel. My father actually uh, custom made some brackets for it so it can uh, fit the stock soft tail front fender, which is awesome. This back wheel is uh, just a stock wheel we painted. I'm not a big believer in the powder coat thing. It all chips off anyway, no matter what you put on there. Can get away with just doing some nice paint with good prep. So. Some people spray onto a rag. Personally, product right in the paint.
Mike looks awesome. We'll get down off the stand and we'll do a little more of a walk around on it. Now this bike's lowered front and rear. It has the Eagle lights, tail light. Got rid of that goofy tail light that came with the bike. Put smoked lenses on it. A couple of the odds and ends. Kiriak and foot pegs, shifter, mirrors, Eagle lights. LED projector headlight, Screaming Eagle intake, Vance and Hines, pipes here. Plan on taking the baffles out of them. Can make a video of how to do that too. All in all, though, I think we're all good here. She should be happy. If you want to see more like this, subscribe to the channel, comment, let me know what you want to see. We got other bikes we can cover, we got cars. All right, guys, thanks for watching.